So I'm going to make this for, um, for the atheists or for, I mean, it's mainly done for, uh, Meta Omega, but, um, for the other atheists that I talk to, um, many don't know about Eastern Christianity, it's... The three branches, which really aren't, you could really just say two, um, but they have their loose confederacies, basically, of these various ancient patriarchates um, and other communities <clears throat> that stretch from... Um, not just from Syria to Greece, or Syria to India, but also um, Greece and Russia, and then down to Ethiopia, through Egypt down to Ethiopia. Um, if, as for the EOC, the Eastern Orthodox Communion, um, the last day all right, <clears throat> we won't read the apocalypse. The sermon or homily is the least important part of the service. There is no guitars, there is no jam band, um, there is no Joel Olstein type thing, there is no thing for comfort. You stand for about three hours. Um... Unless there's a special time of year, and then you're doing prostrations. That's the Muslims borrowed theirs from us. Um, that's why a lot of the parishes are carpeted. Um, there has not been a change since the fourth century in anything. I mean, in, in, in even the wording of the liturgy. Heaven, hell, and God are kind... I, I, when a Westerner asks me about that, I have to say, either they're all the same thing or we don't believe in them. Uh, because it's not God, as the West knows it, it's the God beyond gods. It's... He who is the existing one. I am that I am. Uh, and this this is the most ancient language. And again, um, there's that old joke. Um, how many Orthodox take change the light bulb? Change what's change? Uh, as for heaven and hell. Hell is a Nordic, the name of a Nordic goddess, and when they translated the Bible into English, um, Tartaros, Gehenna, Hades, and Sheol all got translated as hell. And many parables that had nothing to do with hell, and uh, many, um, these, this Apocalypse of John, which we will not have read in during service in, in our parishes uh, that gets blunted up and <coughs> you get the western idea of hell um, heaven for the west is some pie in the sky for us it's the kingdom of God we believe on the last day all will be bathed in fire fire will descend either burning up the chaff or refining the dross from the silver. This is where eventually the papal west will get purgatory and they break it up into three different things. And to this day, the Protestants still have a division between heaven and hell and they just kicked out purgatory. Um, being in the presence of pure love and truly loving it is paradise being the presence of true love and truly hating it is hell 
the gate we we use metaphors like or sayings like the gates of hell are locked from the inside. The floor of hell is paved with the skulls of bishops, but it's not a physical location. Um, it's the reflection of your own heart. It's you. It's kind of like you're the you're the own judge, right? <coughs> um, as for the existing one, or he who is, there's nothing positive we can say about him. We can only use apathetic terms, incomprehensible, unknowable. Uh, so why I'm hesitant, hesitant to say, um, you know, omniscient, uh, omnipresent, I don't think so. I mean, I, I don't think, I don't think that's even we even ha have anything close to that, but I'm hesitant to say omnipotent um, and omniscient. Uh, the one thing we can say is God is love, which th even that needs to be known in relation, in, in, in a relationship. Um, the love between a husband and wife is different than love between a father and son. And love of the son for the father is different from love for, of the father to the son. Um, the way you love your mother is different than the way you love your grandmother. Love between brother and sister. Right? Um, so even that, you already have to know to know kind of thing. And this is the gnosis. We're not Gnostics, because we don't have any secret teachings. This is the Gnosis. We do not proselytize. That is right out. Um, evangelizing is living a virtuous life, right? And they, people will notice the light that shines from within. Um, threatening people with hell, like way of the master, threatening them with hell, or bribing them with a pie-in-the-sky paradise, <clears throat> or a better life, or a better financial future, or even threatening them with violence, ridicule, that's, pro we call that proselytizing, and that's forbidden. Um... You don't just get saved by saying a magical prayer. Uh, again, the blood, the idea of the blood atonement of a penal substitution, that idea of the crucifixion, no. It was totally rejected as heresy. Um, we don't believe in original sin. Uh... And the entirety of the worldview is different. I mean, sin, hamertia, means to miss the mark. It's an archery term. Now, in the West, the Western view of sin is pissing off God or um, transgression of the law. Well, <clears throat> now and you understand when we talk about sin, Using an archery term, meaning to miss the mark, when he says the world is sinful, meaning that it's not the way it's supposed to be, or it's 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 fucked up. It's you know, that's not people living how they should. People should live virtuously. Men should be dignified, brave, and virtuous, right? I should women. But there's rape and pedophilia and all this other garbage. So you'd say we live in a fallen world. Also, we don't base anything on the Bible. We wrote, edited, and compiled the Bible. First 800, 500 to 800 years, you had no New Testament to speak of. Uh, or you had various New Testaments, let me put it that way. Uh, Shepherd of Hermas. Very popular for a while, then fell out of popularity. 
uh, the Apocalypse of Peter was very popular, uh, more popular than uh, the Apocalypse of John for a while. Um, we know one in the West will read it during service. Uh, the Apocalypse, that is, because we don't know where it came from. The, the Roman the Roman Church, the church in Rome, brought it to us, and this, who's this guy from Patmos? Now, I placed the Apocalypse very early. I know a lot of um, scholars and historians do not, but I placed that and John very early, and I placed other writings a lot later than they place them. It's the New Testament. Um, but yeah, no, we don't get our beliefs from Scripture at all. And Scripture cannot be understood unless you're inside the church. That's just, I mean, that's, I can't say that's my opinion or that's our opinion. Uh, I believe that that's what the church believes. So, it, I'm just going to state that as fact. Um, as for the hatred and bigotry against uh, people, I mean, I stood up for uh, a transgendered person and um, got help from, from a lot of different Christians, but Archbishop Lazar is an archbishop in the Eastern Orthodox Church came to my defense. Um, our relationship with Jews has been a lot better than the Protestant or the Catholic. Uh, but I, I just need and want to stress the difference in how we view the world and the terms that we use. The, the, we use them in the original way. It was the West that changed things or took a Hebrew word from the Old Testament, a Greek word from the New Testament, an Aramaic word from the New Testament, and another Greek word from the epistles in the New Testament and <clears throat> used the name of a Nordic goddess to translate them and used for all. So, um, it's not us re, 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 reworking things, right? We also believe in theosis, which is another thing. Um, so there's no guy in the sky. You know, that, that we think it's, even though we have images and our liturgy and worship service, which has not changed for 1,500 years, has iconography. Um, there is a strict ban or prohibition on making images of what um, has been revealed as the Father or the Fountain of the Logos and the Spirit. And even the Logos and the Spirit cannot be depicted, only the Christ can be depicted, and the saints, and that's it. In the West, they have images of Zeus, basically. They basically have the, the father, the, what's talked about the father in the New Testament, they've, they have him as Zeus, which is, uh, we believe they've broken the Seventh Ecumenical Council. If it's not in the, the councils and the creeds, or we go by in our theology, there is no orthodox catechism. That's BS. If you ever see one, don't buy it. It's trash. Our theology is contained in our hymns. That's where you find all of our theology, is in our hymns. And we have no systematic doctrine, dogma, or theology. Uh, I just wanted to clarify that um, for e from East and West point of view. Peace to you.